So hello from Karimabad up in Hunza. It's kind of like a kind of hippie traveller town. It's probably the most kind of travel traveller friendly town up in this area of Hunza. And we're just at the fort right now. But just look at these views. It is just absolutely stunning. And I think the best thing about here so far is that the people have just been so, so friendly. We've had such a chill day here so far taking in the views there's some really nice cafes so if you did see my last video you'll see that we tra traveled from Skardu to Hunza via the Dosai National Park but I must say the route that we've done so far in northern Pakistan has been absolutely perfect if I do say so myself um, so it's a very very followable route so if you are coming up here I would 100% recommend um, doing it and I've also got some blog posts below so make sure you check those out to help you plan your trip here so it's going to be a lot of fun over the next few days so let me show you what Hunza is all about so we have left Karimabad we left there this morning and we tried to hitchhike up to Husseini, um, which is where I am now, but the hitchhiking didn't really work too well. We just had people offering um, like lifts in order for, in return for payment. But never mind, we're totally happy to, obviously paying for our rides. Um, but we came all the way up the Karakoram Highway, which was super cool. And now we are in Husseini. And now this place is very, very popular for its bridge. So we are gonna go and have a look at that now. I'm just so in the wilderness right now. There is like nothing apart from all of these mountains. There's nothing and everything. That's what it feels like. Here we go. Sorry, it's really, really windy. But the bridge is here behind me. It is a lot longer in real life than what I had seen on videos on YouTube, but it is like surreal to be here because I've seen so many videos of this on YouTube. However, we've got one problem right now is that we can only go to five steps along. Um, they do close it for tourists, uh, probably because it's quite dangerous, but we have a secret plan. So I'll tell you about that once the guys are out of earshot. But as I said, you can only do about five steps right now and there are guides there um, making sure that you don't go any further. But we have heard that if you go there in the morning, maybe six or seven o'clock, um, then basically there is no one else there, which means there are no guides or guides, which means that you can cross it. So that is our plan for tomorrow. We're gonna get up early, cross the bridge and then go around to the Pasu Glacier. And this is where we are staying. It's called Raymond Backpacker. So I'll leave the link below. Um, it's a little bit out of the way, but actually the owners here are so, so nice. And that's who took us up to Husseini. And you can totally walk up there by yourself as well. And if you do know of Will from the Broke Backpacker, um, if you're Googling Pakistan, his blog's probably gonna come up. They come here for his groups as well. So it's a really nice little hostel. Um, it's quite quiet now, but I think in high season, this is probably a really good place to come and to meet other backpackers. It is the next day. It is about eight o'clock in the morning. We have managed to get a big group together because we met some people that we met a few days ago and then bumped into them yesterday. And we told them that you can cross the bridge um, if you go early. Okay, we're crossing it. There's quite a few people doing it as well, so it's a little bit bouncy. I 100% recommend that you come here early and do this, but obviously do be careful and do make sure that you don't um, bump into the guys that do work here, because I think that you could get into trouble. So right now we're just walking through a super, super local area that um, was following the bridge that we just crossed. And I feel like you would need a guide to come up here. 
because yeah we're just literally walking through people's fields and they can't really grow stuff around here I think because of the the soil or the lack of um, so they just grow a lot of grass which they then feed to the cows um, and then the cows then feed them um, pretty much throughout the winter the winter gets really really harsh here so we are here in the perfect time we've also got beautiful blue skies today so super lucky but yeah it does not get any more local and authentic than this the other thing i'm loving about this area is all of the apples that are grown here and they're also growing like um, peaches and walnuts and I think yeah apricots as well um, and they're just like abundant on all of the trees obviously people do own them so you can pick them but obviously like be respectful it's just so amazing to see just so many trees are full of apples so now we are at Pasu Bridge which is down here it is very very long much longer than the Husseini one I don't know whether if you were to come here on your own whether you would find this I feel like you need a guide we're gonna cross it and I'm a little bit scared it's like don't That's look down <laughs> but you need to look down to yeah. to work out where to put your foot really Okay, go turning this off, I need to concentrate. Right, we've been walking for about four hours and it has been absolutely epic. Like we have walked through like the farmlands and then we crossed the rivers and then we were walking along the riverbed. The landscape here is just like insane. But we have now just got to Pasu and we've been told that there is some very good apricot cake waiting for us which is very very much needed right now so it is my last day in Hunza today and I just wanted to finish this vlog to say how much I have loved Hunza I mean I really liked Skardu and if you've been watching all of my videos then firstly thank you um, but secondly yeah you would have known that I got rerouted from Islamabad to Gilgit to Skardu instead um, and I'm really glad that we did because I enjoyed that but I must say I've absolutely loved Hunza and this area of Pakistan the other thing I just want to say is obviously I started this video in Karimabad which I did really like and I think it's really good for kind of two nights one day but actually we spent the last few days further north up the Karakoram Highway right now we're in Gulmit and there's some really Really cool places around here lots of restaurants actually right now I am in Mokshi which is a really cool cafe um, and kind of like a co-working space as well so I would definitely recommend checking out um, this place if you come up here I feel like the best way to explore this area basically is just keep jumping like one or two nights in each place so that you can see the most but it is now my last day in northern Pakistan and I've seen a lot over the last week and a half but I definitely know there is so so much more to see here and yeah yeah, I'm basically gonna come back next summer so I just can't wait to see more so if you're not subscribed already then make sure you do subscribe to keep up with the rest of my adventures and tomorrow I'm flying back down to Islamabad and I've got two really really fun sounding days in Islamabad so make sure you look out for that video as well so thanks very much for watching I think we found the best sunset spot in the city.